What's up fish keepers? In this video, we're gonna be talking about planaria and we're gonna go ahead and try to get rid of them. As you can tell in my past videos, we've tried some of these. These are called planaria traps. They work pretty well to catch a lot of them, but to completely eradicate them, the best way to do that is to get yourself some no planaria. So we're gonna talk about how to do that. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the link down below. Make sure you turn your bell notifications on so you can keep up with all the videos I post. No planaria is a real simple additive to add to your aquarium to get rid of planaria without harming shrimp, plants, or fish. If you have just a fish tank, planaria is not such a bad thing. It works as food, they help show you that your tank is cycled and I guess you could say prepared. It's healthy, essentially, so. But in a shrimp tank, in a shrimp tank is the last place you wanna find planaria. Now, I need to use some of these plants in my new Caradina setups that I'm gonna be doing, so I need to get rid of this planaria before it causes lots of problems with some pretty expensive shrimp, so. We're gonna go ahead and eradicate this tank of any planaria, get it prepared for moving on to the Caradina shrimp tanks that I've told you guys about in the past. So let's get into this, it's real simple. Um, we're talking about these little guys right here. These little planarias are a troublemaker. They have a triangular shaped head. So make sure you look closely in your aquarium to see that they have that triangular triangular shaped head. I'm gonna try to get you guys a couple close-ups real quick. So it's hard for me to get a focus on these little guys being they're so small, but here's a planaria right here in the middle of the screen. I'll go ahead and zoom in on it and bubble it up for you so you can get a better visual of it. I'll also throw a couple pictures in there so you guys can see them up close. These little guys in here are little shrimp killers. They do hurt snails as well, so. This stuff will and can harm snails. So if you do have snails in your tank, make sure you go ahead and pull them out. I have already done that prior to this video. I did leave some empty shells in here and stuff like that. That's not the end of the world, but those actually house planaria in most cases as planaria like to live inside of snail shells that are live. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of them so that way we don't have to worry about that in the near future. I don't have very many big ones left. I did catch a lot of them with my uh, planaria traps. By the way, I'm gonna put a link up here in the corner if you're interested in those as well. For now, let's get into the no planaria catch. Well, let's go over the package. So no planaria control in 72 hours. The reason I'm using this, it's not gonna hurt any shrimp. Here's the main ingredient. Specialty keeps planaria away without harming shrimp and plants. It's safe and biodegradable. Keep out of reach of children. Remove your carbon filter prior to dosing as your carbon filter will absorb most of this stuff. And keep dosing at every 24 hours if your planaria level is high. Now, when you use it, first you're gonna do one spoonful for every 50 liters. And then after 24 hours, you wanna keep an eye on your tank and see if you still see planaria. If you still see planaria, do a half dose. So it's gonna be half a spoonful. Wait another 24 hours, check your tank again. If you still have planaria, then you're gonna to go to the 72 hours. After that, you should be fine. If you want, you could also use planaria traps to kind of double dose on catching as many planaria and killing as many planaria as possible. So you can try that too. So this is a really simple, simple um, treatment here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just add it to the tank. It'll be super simple. And hopefully we get the results we want. I really wanna get those shrimp tanks going and get some of these plants in there, so, as well as other tanks. So let's get into it. Let's add some no planaria. We got our no planaria. Now there is a little spoon in here. You don't wanna use like your own kitchen spoons. There's also a little silica gel pouch in here. So make sure you don't throw that in your aquarium. But here's your little spoon. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one spoonful of this into the aquarium. Let it mix up. You can obviously mix it up if you would like as well. And then uh, it should start affecting the planaria almost immediately. So we're gonna go ahead, fill our spoonful, just like that. Again, make sure that you don't get this anywhere where your dogs, cats, kids, pets, and stuff like that can get to it. Make sure you hide it. And we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle that in. Now this is gonna make a, a mess out of the tank, but it's the results that we're looking for, not exactly what's gonna happen right now. And then like I said, make sure you keep it stored so that way your fish, and or not your fish, <laughs> so that way your dogs and cats and kids and stuff like that can't get to it. Now all that's gonna absorb into the tank, like I said, and it's essentially gonna start killing off all the planaria. So again, like I said, you wanna test after about 24 hours. Also, one last thing, make sure that after your 72 hours, you go ahead and do a good water change. 
make sure your gravel backing and stuff like that to pull up any planaria carcasses that may end up down on the substrate or in the substrate as well um, just to prevent any kind of parameter changes and stuff like that so make sure you guys go ahead and do that as well don't skip that step or you will regret it it will grow algae like crazy because you're it, essentially you're you got a bunch of dead carcasses in the aquarium just like as if you had a shrimp die off or something like that as well so make sure you do that so there we go we got it all mixed in there you can kind of see the particles kind of floating throughout the water the glass is dirty in this tank so i do apologize for that um but yeah we're gonna hopefully this will wipe out the planaria first batch just because a lot of them are really small uh, but there's only one way to find out that's to wait for 24 hours and check out the tank and see what we got you know make sure you keep an eye on this stuff if you do have shrimp it can be extremely detrimental to fairly expensive caradina species um, obviously a whole colony of neo caradinas would be a wreck to lose as well so make sure you guys are keeping up with this stuff it will help benefit you in the long run as well as your animals so there's some no planaria for you I will give you guys a quick result in the future videos and keep you posted as well as, you know, on other stuff that's going on as well. So if you guys had fun on this video, if you learned something, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up as well if you like the video. And if you got any questions, also shoot them down in the comments. I'm not afraid to, you know, take some time out of my day and answer some questions you guys have. So feel free to shoot something down in the comments. We're going to hope for the best on this and hope we can get onto our Caradina tanks. So. I hope you guys the best. Have a beautiful day or beautiful night whenever you watch this. Have a great one, guys. Peace.